The Buffalo Sabres have a game later today against the Arizona Coyotes. However, the big problem that is plaguing Buffalo right now is in between the pipes. This team, for all intents and purposes, and this is kind of my catchphrase at the moment, they're kind of screwed. And it all comes out with the goaltending. So let's go over all the goaltenders here in the Buffalo Sabres system, give an update as to where they are and why the Sabres are screwed heading into tonight's action against Arizona. So, today's game will likely see a combination of potentially Craig Anderson and maybe Dustin Tokarski in net. I really don't know what the final decision is going to be. The game starts at about, I believe, it's 6 p.m. PST, 9 p.m. EST, so if you're waiting for the actual game, go ahead and set your clocks to that time. But... The Buffalo Sabres right now are in quite the predicament. Craig Anderson, at the moment, is ready to, at the very least, be a backup. You also have news that Dustin Tchikarski is indeed going on this road trip as well. This update from Lance Lesowski was from yesterday. We also had Mike Harrison say yesterday as well that Kevin Adams tells us all indications are that Anderson will be ready for the road trip to at least back up. Tchikarski will also travel, said Adams. Backing up and playing to me is the same. You have to be ready. And so, with that conclusion, Craig Anderson might just be the guy here for Buffalo. Now, why exactly is Anderson being the Buffalo starter somewhat of a problem? Why am I even saying, in any respect, that the Buffalo Sabres are screwed? Well, it's because Craig Anderson hasn't actually played a game in, like, three months? This is an article from SpectrumLocalNews.com. It was published on January 27th, and it talks about how Craig Anderson is eyeing his return to the Buffalo Sabres crease. According to the piece over here, he has fought through a mystery upper body injury for nearly three months. After suffering the injury on November 2nd, Anderson hasn't played, and he has hardly practiced. The 40-year-old says his return to the Sabres crease is coming sooner rather than later. Generally speaking, the last seven days or so of skating, it's been similar or better than the day before, he said, after Thursday's practice. That's positive, and we're keeping a positive mindset and a positive outlook on the future here in the next couple of days. He's going to give me that information about how he felt today and how he feels tomorrow after the day, which is a factor as well, said Don Granado. We'll see where we're at then. There's a mystery to all of this. So, a few days ago, we had ourselves a little bit of an update saying that Craig Anderson is sort of, maybe, potentially, I don't know, kind of in the ballpark of maybe returning soon, but because of the circumstances with the rest of this team, he might have to make his return sooner than expected, maybe even today. So, going over the other goaltenders that are in the Buffalo Sabres system, let's talk today about Michael Hauser, Uko Pekalukunen, Dustin Kikarski, Aaron Dell, and Malcolm Subban, because all these guys are kind of in their own predicaments as well. This Instagram post kind of sums it up very nicely here. Anderson is practicing, but still day-to-day. -day. This is from yesterday. Uko Pekalukunen is out week-to-week. -week. Okay, so he is also out for an extended amount of time. Malcolm Subban is out for the season. Okay, he is out too. Dustin Tokarski has lingering effects of the virus, although we did get ourselves the update yesterday that, according to Lance Lasowski over here, Tokarski is indeed going on the trip. Does that mean he's going to be ready, able to play, able to participate, actually in game shape? I have no idea. But if the lingering side effects thing is indeed part of this, I honestly doubt he would be completely ready to take over a full 60-minute shift. But who really knows? Aaron Dell is out because he's been suspended for three games for that body check. Yeah, come on, Aaron Dell. He can't do that. And then you have yourselves Michael Hauser, who was in protocol yesterday. And so now, the Buffalo Sabres, as of, you know, let's say 24 hours ago, this team was seen as utterly and unequivocally screwed. Six goaltenders in the system, all of them out with some form of game-prohibiting circumstances, whether that's protocol, whether that's suspension, whether that's lingering effects of the virus, or just regular, plain old injuries, now you're in a position where Craig Anderson, who has been battling this mystery injury for three months, and who has been sort of practicing, sort of on the ice, here and there, not as much as you would expect a goaltender to be regularly, he's going to be forced to probably play today. Now, I'm recording this video 
at 11.08 a.m. in the morning. It's Saturday, January 29th. Who knows if the Buffalo Sabres get some emergency backup goaltender to play or they sign a guy out of college to play or if Craig Anderson even suits up. But because of how the quote is laid out over here from Adams, backing up and playing to me is the same. You have to be ready. And because they kind of laid it out saying that Craig Anderson will be ready to, at the very least, be a backup... That, to me, says that we're likely going to see Craig Anderson return to the net today against Arizona. But, you know, just based off of the injury and everything that we have seen about this injury, how strange it has been and how it's affected him for three months and how he hasn't really practiced all throughout those three months and he's only really practiced recently, I do kind of question how ready Craig Anderson is going to be to, at the very least, play a full 60-minute NHL game. Tokarski being the backup, you know, it's good having an NHL guy as your backup, but, like, who knows how well he's going to be able to perform as well, especially if he's been out with lingering effects of the virus. We've seen other NHL players, like Brandon Sutter, for example, take an extraordinarily long amount of time to get their bodies fully recovered and have the lungs and everything get back up to speed. Not everybody reacts to the virus the same way, and having Dustin Tokarski actually be available to travel, you know, it's a good thing, but is it the biggest guarantee in the world that he is ready? I don't know. So, heading over against the Arizona Coyotes today, you know, I'm going to be honest too, if there's any game that you're going to go out there and say, okay, we have six goalies, all of them are out, or maybe four of them are out, two of them are with the team, one of them is traveling with us, the other might be able to participate in a backup kind of role, if there was any game out there that I would want my team to be playing in a situation like this, unfortunately it would be a game against the Arizona Coyotes. Like, this is probably the best case scenario of a game to get Craig Anderson back in for the first time in three months to say, okay, you have not had any extended amount of practice time within the first, like, two and a half months of you recovering. You only started playing now, you only started getting on the ice now, and you're feeling better. This is your first test. Arizona, just be thankful that you're not playing any of the other teams in the Pacific Division, or, excuse me, no, Arizona's in the Central now, aren't they? Just be grateful you're not playing off against a Vegas Golden Knights team or a Colorado Avalanche team, and that Craig Anderson is probably going to get himself a game that, you know, for all intents and purposes, should be sort of winnable, because Arizona is Arizona. I'm sorry, you guys are just that bad. And so... I'm kind of going out there and just giving my best wishes out to Craig Anderson because, you know, the guy's 40 years old and he has honestly been the best goaltender here for the Buffalo Sabres in the very short amount of time that he had spent. Before he had spent time off with that injury, take a look at the goaltending department here for the Sabres. Michael Hauser had himself a 948 save percentage in two games played. Anderson in six games played had a 921 and a 249 goals against. Uko Pekka Lukanen had a 917 in nine games played. Tokarski had a 903 in 14. Aaron Dell had an 893 save percentage in 12 games. Like, I'm sorry, all the discourse about Aaron Dell has been so negative from Buffalo Sabres fans that I've been seeing that having this guy removed from your lineup because he was suspended, while it is not the best way to go about things and probably not a good outcome because you don't want to see your goaltender going out there body checking guys, I'd be lying if I said Buffalo Sabres fans were clamoring and cheering and hoping that they could get to see Aaron Dell suit up a few more games here and there for the Buffalo Sabres. And then, of course, you have Malcolm Subban, who was acquired because of the earlier goaltending dearth, I guess you could say. Four games played for him, a 4.86 goals against average, and an 8.71 save percentage. What the heck happened to Malcolm Subban, dude? What a terrible record right there. Unfortunately so. But he is going to be out for the year, so you're not going to be seeing him suit up anytime soon for the Buffalo Sabres either. So it's just been unfortunate all around. The Sabres are screwed when it comes to their goaltending. Who knows what's going to go on against the Arizona Coyotes tonight if Tatarsi is indeed the backup and if Craig Anderson is going to be the guy who suits up because the way they phrase it, the fact that Anderson should be ready to at the very least be a backup and the fact that backups are the same as playing according to Adams himself, it just seems like it's going to be Anderson's net tonight. So, yeah, best of luck to him, dude. If you're a Buffalo Sabres fan, talk to me in the comments. What are you feeling right now? Your goaltending has been all over the place. You guys have had six guys suit up so far, and only one or two of them might actually be available for your game today. How does that feel? What do you think should be the next thing in the pipeline here. You don't have anybody else to call up. You don't have anybody in the system that you can viably get onto your team. 
Is it a free agent signing? Is it a college guy? Is it an e-bug, an emergency backup goaltender? Talk to me in the comments, later. your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Charles and I nine. Best of luck to Tokarski and Anderson against Arizona tonight. And bye.